back with another video woohoo i haven't done a voiceover in so long like i don't even know how to do one anymore but yeah life update i graduated college woohoo i'm done i'm finally free you know <laughs> like yeah i did not like school like i didn't like doing school work so now i don't have to do that anymore <laughs> well at least for a while um, but yeah, uh, I did this painting that you guys see. I found a beautiful reference photo on Instagram, and I will link her all her stuff in the description. Obviously, I always do that. Um, but yeah, I just really like the hair, and it was di very different than what I've I've done. It was frustrating for me because um, I mean I haven't painted in so long. I was just doing schoolwork and trying to finish up finals and stuff, so I was painting this and getting frustrated and like it's like how do I do this again I don't I forgot how to paint and you know having mental breakdowns it's um, one of my specialties but yeah um I think it turned out okay <laughs> tell me what you guys think and um you guys have been sending me your art and I'm just so impressed by all of it and I'll just kind of flash a few of them on the screen I know some of you guys are like advanced in your art careers and stuff but I'm just really proud. Like, I love seeing you guys' art. When you guys send me your art, I'm just, I'm blown away by all of it. And I'm really proud of every single one of you guys. Uh, you guys are learning so much. A lot of you guys have started oil painting because of me. And that's, like, really awesome to hear that. And I'm really impressed, you guys. You guys are awesome. So, yeah, now that I'm done with school, um, I really don't know. Sometimes I feel guilty that, you know, I'm... I don't know I, I'm doing what I want to do already like making videos making art like I've always wanted to be an artist and you know I went to college because of you know security and all that stuff but there's no such thing as job security like we've all realized that with the pandemic going on and everybody getting laid off there's no such thing as job security so you know it's very important to just do what you love at all times I don't know just always do what you love <laughs> That's all I can say because at the end of the day, you have to wake up every single day to these jobs and you have to sacrifice your time to be at these jobs and just make sure that you have something that gives you happiness, whatever it is. Like it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to garner you money. It doesn't have to deal with anything like that. Just if it's, if it's watching Netflix for hours on end, you know, do you, I, I personally wouldn't because there's nothing on Netflix anyway, but <laughs> You know, do it. Do what you love. If you like to golf, if you like to go for walks, do that. Do that. Whatever takes your mind off of the day-to-day, -day mundane, going to work, do that, you know? I guess painting is that for me, or creating anything for that matter. And um, I'll be honest with you, doing speed paintings is boring, you know? I, I'm kind of bored, so I'm probably going to start doing different things on this channel where I, you know, play with resin or play with polymer clay or start showing my face more and just start being, being me again. I don't know. Or showing my real personality because <laughs> I think I'm pretty cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, guys. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys real quick and see how everything is going. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the congratulations on my graduating I misspelled the title, so I had to take that photo down. I was really upset. I was like, why didn't I proofread? Like, I never proofread. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm, I'm okay. It's like, yeah, you have a college degree? Like, you still have typos. Okay, like, no, go by. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I'm rambling, but yeah. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope you guys enjoy this painting. Also, I'm probably going to be launching my Patreon soon. Um, if you click on the link in the description, you'll see my Patreon link. Um, I'm going to be posting maybe this speed painting, like real time footage. <sighs> I'm going to probably end up having to get a new camera very soon because I can't record, you know, my palette and my painting at the same time. I don't have enough room and I don't have enough, you know, I need two cameras, so <laughs> bear with me. But, um, if you guys want to support the channel, um, my Patreon link is going to be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye! It's nearly midnight and time for a story. This is Christopher Lee.
And these are Edgar Allan Poe's Gothic Tales. The thousand injuries of Fortunato I had borne as I best could, but when he ventured upon insult, I vowed revenge. It must be understood that neither by word nor deed had I given Fortunato cause to doubt my goodwill. I continued, as was my wont, to smile in his face, and he did not perceive that my smile now was at the thought of his immolation. He had a weak point, this Fortunato, although in other regards he was a man to be respected and even feared. He prided himself on his connoisseurship in wine. In this respect, I did not differ from him materially. I was skilful in the Italian vintages myself, and bought largely whenever I could. It was about dusk, one evening during the supreme madness of the carnival season. That I encountered my friend. He accosted me with excessive warmth, for he had been drinking much. The man wore motley. He had on a tight-fitting striped dress, and his head was surmounted by the conical cap and bells. I was so pleased to see him that I thought I should never have done wringing his hand. I said to him, my dear Fortunato, you are luckily met. How remarkably well you are looking today. But I have received a pipe of what passes for a Montelado, and I have my doubts. How? said he. A Montelado? Impossible. And in the middle of the carnival? I have my doubts, I replied, and I was silly enough to pay the full Amontillado price without consulting you. They were not to be found, and I was fearful of losing a bargain. A Montelado? Uh, you are engaged. I'm on my way to Lucrezi. If anyone has a critical turn, it is he. He will tell me Lucrezi cannot tell a Montelado from Sherry. And yet, <laughs> some fools will have it that his taste is a match for your own. <laughs> Come, let us go. Whither? To your vaults. Oh, my friend, no, no. I will not impose upon your good nature. I perceive you have an engagement. You're crazy. I have no engagement. Come, my friend, no. It is not the engagement, but the severe cold with which I perceive you are afflicted. The vaults are insufferably damp. They are encrusted with nitre. Cold is nothing. A Montelado. You have been imposed upon. And as for Lucrezi, he cannot distinguish Sherry from Amontillado. Thus speaking, Fortunato possessed himself of my arm, and putting on a mask of black silk, and drawing a cloak closely about my person, I suffered him to hurry me to my palazzo. <laughs> There were no attendants at home. They had absconded to make merry in honor of the time. I took from their sconces two flambeaux, and giving one to Fortunato, bowed him through several suites of rooms to the archway that led into the vaults. I passed down a long and winding staircase, requesting him to be cautious as he followed. We came at length to the foot of the descent, and stood upon the damp ground of the catacombs of the Montresors. The gait of my friend was unsteady, and the bells upon his cap jingled. The pipe, he said. It is farther on, said I. But observe the white webwork which gleams from these cavern walls. <laughs> How long have you had that? Off. <coughs> My poor friend found it impossible to reply for many minutes. <clears throat> it is nothing, he said at last. Come, I said with decision. 
you will go back. You will be ill, and I cannot be responsible. Besides, there is Lucrezia. Enough. The cough is a mere nothing. It will not kill me. I shall not die of a cough. True. True. I replied. But you should use all proper caution. A draught of this medoc will defend us from the damps. Here I knocked off the neck of a bottle which I drew from a long row of its fellows that lay upon the mould. Drink, I said, presenting him the wine. He raised it to his lips with a leer. He paused and nodded to me familiarly, while his bells jingled. I drink, he said, to the buried but repose around us, and I to your long life. He again took my arm, and we proceeded. These vaults are extensive. The Montresors, I replied, were a great and numerous family. Uh, I, I forget your coat of arms. A huge human foot d'or in a field Asia. The foot crushes a serpent rampant whose fangs are embedded in the heel. And the motto, Nemo me impune lacessit. Nobody wrongs me with impunity. Good, he said. The wine sparkled in his eyes and the bells jingled. We had passed through long walls of piled skeletons with casks and puncheons intermingling into the inmost recesses of the catacombs. Let us go on. But first, another draught of the Medoc. I broke and reached him a flagon of de Grave. He emptied it at a breath. His eyes flashed with a fierce light. He laughed and threw the bottle upwards with a gesticulation I did not understand. I looked at him in surprise. He repeated the movement, a grotesque one. You do not comprehend, not I, that you are not of the Brotherhood. How? You are not of the Masons. Oh, yes, yes, I said, yes, yes. You? Impossible. A Mason? A Mason, I replied. A sign. It is this, I answered, producing from beneath the folds of my cloak a trowel. You jest, he exclaimed, recoiling a few paces. Let us proceed to the... Amontillado. 